Jesus. Ah. Ah. I mean, that's gotta be at least a f the full. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Wow, that was hardcore. Wow. Alright, that's, that's enough of that for now. I mean, I'm fine with it. I'm just, you know. Got shit to do up here. Welcome or welcome back to Ravenous Devils. The premise of this is essentially this guy is a tailor that steals clothes from people after killing them, drops the bodies down this little chute, and then the wife uh, turns them into various food products and that uh, she sells. And this guy fixes up the clothes and resells them to the public. Good morning, Mr. Percival. Am I too early? The shop still seems to be closed. Morning. Not at all, Lady Elliswin. Please do come in. Were you in need of a new dress? Yes, I, ha I have an appointment. Please be my guest. Go in front of the mirror. I'll be right there in a moment. I bet he's gonna kill her. This must be the place. Why? Why does she look like she's screaming when she says that? That's a little weird. That trap door. Those clothes. Oh my god. Everything Jack told me was true. Should I tell him anything? I don't know how he'll react. I'm here for one reason. I won't mess this up. Here I am. Let's get to work. Um, I was thinking something delicate. Maybe in light blue tones. Is this dress for a special occasion? If you don't mind me asking. A funeral. Blue for a funeral? Well then, if I may offer my opinion. Not sure light blue is particularly suitable for a funeral. It won't matter. In fact, I don't think anyone will say anything to me. I will be the one laying in the coffin. What, 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 what the fuck do you mean? I'm dying and there's nothing that can be done. I'm already roaming this world like a ghost. I would kill myself, but I'm not brave enough to do such a thing. If only someone could free me from this burden. Is asking to die without suffering too much? But maybe. God damn it. Hi, I'm sorry, but I need to interrupt you, Percival. I have something to show you downstairs. I'm working, Hildred. Please, Percival. You need to come with me. I'm sure you can set another appointment for the lady. You are just starting anyway. Maybe it was a mistake coming here. I'm so sorry. I, I have to go now. Sorry for wasting your time. God damn it. She was just literally asking me to kill her. What, was she alright? Did you traumatize her somehow? I haven't touched her. She said that she's dying from, of a disease. Poor soul. Anyway, what's so important? Let's go. I'll show you. Well, actually, if she's dying from a disease, would we really want to use her as meat? Because wouldn't that, like, make other people sick? So, do you like it? What? Don't you notice anything new? I mean, there's just glasses. Are you going to start selling liquor? Is that, that what you're pointing out? Um, no. Look up there. I put up some flowers. Oh, let's see. I decided to put some decorations in here. Customers will appreciate it. Now they have something to look at while they wait. You like it? it it's a good start. But you definitely need something more. Did you seriously interrupt me for this? Yes, this is really important. It'll make customers happier. I mean, yeah, um, yeah, she could have definitely, in my opinion, waited. I mean, especially if I'm in the middle of an appointment with with somebody. Uh, fine. Go back to killing. Well, I can't now, because she left. Apparently, that's the only thing you enjoy. Not the only one. Aw. 
they're still a you know a happy couple. But yeah, she she totally could have waited, in my opinion. But you know, whatever. Whatever. It's not my place to judge their marital problems. <clears throat> Don't <clears throat> at me. Learn to do your fucking job without me telling you every fucking step of it. Why do you need me ma micromanaging you? This is a masterpiece. No, it's not. Just because you killed people to get it doesn't make it a masterpiece. It's probably just mediocre at best. Okay, let's... All right, tailor shop's all done for the day. All right, so... Baking time. Uh-huh. All right, while it's baking, make some more steak. Some more steakums, if you will. A pie or a meatball? What will be your destiny? Well, we can't make a steak pie. So, I'm assuming it's... Well, so neither, actually. I mean, I'm not trying to judge, but I don't feel like that's really proper steak. Steak making. I wonder how much these sell for. Ready to eat. Hopefully a lot. Better be a lot. Okay. Alright, let's get this show on the road. Well, not really. We're not really going anywhere, so it's not on the road. It's just stationary. Really? Uh -huh. Come on, buy our shit. Got some steakums up there. You want some of that? No, oh, she just bought a pie and that's it. Oh well. Really? You gotta start off my day by killing? Okay. Alright. Alright. $43, Jesus. My dear colleagues, as I already mentioned in a previous letter, I have been observing your steps for a long time. And to be honest, you intrigued me even before arriving here at Hither Blue Lake. When it comes to food, there's no place unknown to me. This is how I knew you had a little shop in Merseyside where you made a lot of money. Unfortunately, something went wrong at some point along the way. The local competition accused you of selling rat meat, damaging your business's reputation. I remember seeing the news on all the local papers and knew it would not be long before the authorities launched an investigation. Then suddenly, a fire! I do wonder which one of you came up with that brilliant idea. Your previous shop turned to rubble, nothing left beside ashes, and two unrecognizable corpses wearing the owner's clothes. I thought you were dead, but I suppose by the time all this happened, you had already boarded your train. Brilliant. I must confess that I am almost fell for it too. Later, a mysterious couple, priding themselves on offering the best meat pies and town opened up a new shop in Southfolk. Many of my friends had said that you could even enjoy the pleasant company of the landlady, a beautiful woman. It could all, all have been just one big coincidence. Two different couples in two different places and there would have been nothing odd about any of it but something did not quite add up to me. My suspicions were confirmed when the shop in Southfolk closed down. You were spotted leaving in a hurry with very little luggage. Did someone uncover your secret? And here we are now at Hither Blue Lake. The same story. A foreign couple cooking delicious food. I did my research in an attempt to see things crystal clear once and for all. And as I observed you, I was not surprised to notice that not all of the customers who entered your shop also left. I do not blame you for your practices. After all, it is hard to find high quality meat these days. Jane. Okay. It's about time. I'm going inside. You wait for me here. Don't try to run away. People are disappearing in this neighborhood. If I were you, I wouldn't stray too far. All right, Mr. Elliot, I'll wait right here for you. Welcome back, Mr. Elliot. I'm waiting for you. Hello, Percival. Please, take your place in front of the mirror. I like people who don't waste my time. I'm leaving in a few days, my friend. This time I'm heading to a dangerous place full of wild beasts. I will need my best rifle. They could pounce on me before I even notice. Ravenous and wonderful creatures. I prefer them hanging over my fireplace, though. I'm sure you understand my meaning, Percival. Yes, yes, I understand. I always used to hunt for a living, but I don't like rifles. I prefer to wait for my prey to fall into my traps, like flies in a spider web, and then stab them to death. 
I would have never guessed. I thought you had always worked as a tailor. This is something that I would usually keep to myself. Though it seems secrets don't remain such for long in this city. By the way, maybe you happen to know someone who goes by the moniker of Mr. J? Since you are such a well-known figure in town. That's an obvious question. My reputation precedes me wherever I go. Of course I know some people whose names start with a J. But the list would run many pages. Think about it. Someone who hates you, or who you don't get along with. I'm a beloved person, Percival. You're bothering me with this story. Might someone want you dead for any reason? Enough of this nonsense. It was a mistake to come to this dump. As always, good manners get you nowhere. Luckily, I find you as annoying as hell. Now we have to preserve the body. He was really getting on my nerves. We shouldn't have come here. So-called Mr. J better have a good reward for us. Now I need to find a place to hide this bastard's corpse. A cold one. Do we have a freezer? Oh. Okay. Right, that's okay. This is the coldest room in the house. The flesh will be pre better preserved here. Uh, okay. Okie dokie then. See, I knew we were gonna have the top floor eventually. Uh, what, what are you doing here? Um, good morning, sir. Uh, sorry to bother you. Do you happen to know where Mr. Elliot has gone? He told me to wait outside, but I went inside the pub downstairs for a moment. There was a great smell coming from there, and I was rather hungry. Then, then the good lady gave me a pie. It was really delicious. But I don't have any money on me, so, um, I was looking for Mr. Elliot, but I can't find him. Has he left the shop already? Yes, several minutes ago. Oh, really? Did, did he mention anything about where he was going? I, I can't pay for the pie otherwise. He, he didn't tell me anything. I'm sure he'll come back to get you, kid. A and don't worry about the pie. Let's just say it's on the house this time. Oh, thank you, mister. You're such a kind man. I don't think Mr. Elliot is coming back, though. He's probably angry because I disobeyed him. He bought me and I can be replaced any time. Well then, find yourself another job. It won't last long without any money in this city. Not everyone is as generous as I am. Can I help here? I'm, I'm a fast learner. Uh, I'll think about it, kid. I'll, I'll get back to you. Thank you very much. Yeah, see, he could help out. You know, with the... With... Hildred may need a little help in the pub. I don't think he'll narc on us. That seems like a good stop point. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button so YouTube knows that people like it and consider subscribing. And thanks for watching. Bye.